Hi everyone. In this video, I want to show you guys my code to uh, detect, segment, and uh, read the license plate of a car using MATLAB, of course. So when I first started working on this project, I found a lot of code, uh, very helpful, very good um, on the internet. It's, it's really good, but it was always missing one thing, which is uh, dealing with uh, all the cases and the different cases of images. So basically, you can have the image of a car from uh, basically different angles. You can have it from uh, maybe really near to the license plate, so, so it's like zoomed to the license plate, or far away from the uh, from the uh, basically from the car or something like that. Uh, you can have letters and numbers, or only numbers and letters. You can have uh, other uh, you know characters inside uh, or sh small shapes inside the license plate so basically all the codes i found on the on the internet all the tutorials and stuff like that they are always missing something either they cannot deal with um, a license plate or a car image that is basically far away from the uh, camera so you have the car far away from the camera which means that you cannot really you are not really focused or zoomed to the license plate or the other way around okay other um, codes uh, does not how uh, doesn't know how to deal with a small shapes or something that which is not even a letter or not even a number and they take it and make small uh, wrong assumption about it uh, so it reads the number wrong uh, also sometimes if the image is a little bit rotated or, or hazy a little bit, you cannot deal with it. So basically, a lot of the codes does not know how to deal with it unless it is like a really zoomed, easy to deal with uh, image uh, uh, with only numbers or letters with no other shapes, stuff like that. So I thought about, okay, what is missing to this code to make it really better? I always li like to make enhancement and make my codes better. Okay. So what is missing? What is missing is basically using machine learning, okay? Most of the codes, or basically all the codes I found on the internet, all the tutorials, they only depend on image processing and applying OCR, okay? They do not really depend on CNNs or machine learning. Or the other way around, they only depend on machine learning and does not depend on, you know, correlation, OCRs, and, 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 and image processing. So, what I did in this code is I mixed the two methods together. I made uh, the two methods work hand in hand together to get the best results. Okay, how did I do this? I did it on a multi level uh, segmentation. So, let me before I continue and explain my idea, I want to show you some examples and run the code in front of you. Uh, of course, you will get a link on the description of this video to the code. Uh, please like and subscribe to my channel, of course. Okay, so let's run the code first. Then I can show you by results what I mean by multi level segmentation and how I'm going to use it to make um, this thing much better. And I use some examples to show you with a, a lot of variations. So some of them are good resolution, some of them are not, some of them are zoomed, some of them are not zoomed, and stuff like that. So I can show you that the code can handle all of this. Okay, so let's run the code. Okay, here's a folder that you're gonna get from the link. Uh, here I have some examples. Okay, so as you can see, here's this one. You have the car very far away. Here you have the car very close. So let's let's at first see the symbol very close uh, car image, which is basically most of the code know how to deal with it. Even if it's a little far away, you can you can see it. Okay, so here you can see. Uh, the multi-level segmentation. This is what I mean by multi-level segmentation. Now, what you have here is a blue uh, rectangle or a, or, or a blue uh, bounding box. This one uses machine learning. This one uses RCNN, okay? So they use RCNN to detect the back of a car. Uh, okay, that uh, it is trained, it has um, database, I trained it, everything, and it's really good, and really accurate okay so it gives you the back of the car okay that's a one level then you have another level which is detecting the license plate using both machine learning 
and uh, uh, image processing to detect the properties of the images and segment it and then you can get the license plate what is really cool about this is that it does not only get your license plate but if, if it is rotated and I'm going to show you in just another example even if the license plate is rotated it will be uh, the rotation will be corrected so the OCR can detect uh, uh, the, 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 the number okay much better so okay then this is the first level then the second level and here you get to the image then you binarize of course here people okay <clears throat> some more, most of the codes use um threshold binarization i like to use k means binarization because it does not really has a fixed number for a, a threshold because again if you have a fixed number of as a threshold you will know how to deal very well with images of a good lightning but maybe not bad lightning but k means is an adjustable threshold it's very cool guys it's really amazing so uh, k means is much better because it binarizes the image okay using a variable threshold that depend on the lightning of the image itself of course using the k means algorithm you can find the, the algorithm anyway so that's that's really cool so it can binarize actually any image if it's a good lightning bad lightning whatever okay binarize it you can detect out the background and get it out only take the uh, numbers okay and then uh, apply OCR and read the number OG50102. Really good. Okay. Let's try another hard example. Let's look at some. Okay. This is very far. Okay. You can see that the image or the car is very far from the camera. Uh, I wanted really to get a code that can deal with this. This is not simple to find. It's really rare to find. Okay. Not only this, you can see that this is not perfectly horizontal, it is a little bit rotated. However, the rotation is corrected here, okay? So again, RC and N, which you can only get a car, okay? Then you have another layer of segmentation, which is the license plate, uh, okay? Using fast marching method and stuff like that. Yeah, you will find all the methods and every description of this in the code, in the link. You will find everything commented. You will have every line commented so you can understand the algorithm and how it works, okay? So here you go, and then you, you apply the binarization and you, the variable binarization, remember, so it does not depend on the lightning, and you get the number. Very good, very good. You can see other shapes not taken with us. So you can see here some words, you can see here a dot. This is not taken, which means that it can even deal with images that does not only have the characters and the numbers, but also images with, with some other, like a logo or a word that is not of importance, okay? which is which is really cool about this code okay let's try another example now let's try uh, yes let's see this one in this one you can see that the image of the license plate is basically rotated okay here you can see here you can see it's a really complex image but yet using this multi-segmentation multi-level machine learning and image processing you get a really really nice result so you can see that it is rotated but now I know the angle of rotation, so I correct it here, and you can see that it is now much better for the OCR to read the number. Again, I don't take the the other uh, you know images and, and dot and every single. I just take number one more, and you can see that the code is fast, which is very good. Um, okay, let's see this one, this one. Let's see this one. This one has. A shape which is not rectangular it is it is even a, a little bit square which is which is really good about this code it, it deals with different types different rotations different light anything okay so here you can see that you have numbers that is not written in just one line and it is not basically a rectangle so it is more more to a square even with this you can detect what's important what's not and you can detect uh, the number you can read it here from above to below like two four two four four six one okay one more last example um one more last example anyone okay so uh, you can see that it deals with far away uh, close images whatever okay you can see it doesn't take the logo with it does not does not read the, the the dot anything here only read the letter very hard to find this on the web okay so 
ZG749788 uh, got it right, okay? So I guess that's it for the video, guys. Again, like and subscribe to my channel. You will find the link for this code in the description. And uh, thank you very much for watching.